In the summer, your air might go out the windows. In the winter, your heat might go out the windows. Keep that in mind. It's, I had to learn the hard way when I looked at my window and my building was drilling into a pipe in front of the building. <laughs> this old door, like just fix it. Let's get a new door handle, please. Hi, welcome to Chisholm Prism. My name is Taylor Chisholm, and today in this video, I'm gonna bring up four pros and four cons about living in older style apartments here in Chicago. I currently live in a courtyard style apartment. Before this one, also lived in another brownstone older building. And before that, I was in another courtyard apartment. So I bounce around a lot in these older buildings because I do prefer them. I'm just gonna give some insight of what goes on um, and what to expect when you move into a building like this. Honestly, there's been so many pop-ups of new modern buildings that I think it's good to talk about that comparison. There's a lot of benefits, I think, with, com with living in older style buildings, um, but I wanted to make this video just kind of just consider the option of some of the older buildings as well and kind of weird things that come with living in an older building. So let's get into it. So to talk about the pros, for one, I will say there's a better building quality that comes along with the older buildings here. And just as a, a little history thing, if you don't know already, there was that Chicago fire that happened like in the late 1800s. And that wiped out a lot of the city's infrastructure because they used a lot of wood um, and materials that were flammable, right? But after that, they started using a lot of bricks. And those bricks are a lot of the bones and structure that we still see to this day. So there's a lot of history that are still amongst Chicagoans now. If you can get a piece of that history, I do think that's also pretty cool because there's a lot of character that comes along with these kind of buildings. And I'm talking about buildings like the two-story flats, uh, courtyard apartments, the brownstone, so these are some of the names that float around. When these apartments were starting to develop, they put a lot of craftsmanship and, and care into the builds of these. And some of the perks that come along with those thicker walls of that brick, it blocks out a lot of noise. Like, I never really hear my neighbors when I'm in buildings like this, and I really do value that silence and that privacy because I really do hate when you're in a building with really thin walls and you can hear everything that's going on on with your neighbors next door so that is definitely a plus with these um, more quality constructed buildings and honestly they aren't building these kinds of structures anymore I think there's like zoning law issues now but it's rare that they're remaking this kind of history and now it's being replaced with a lot of those metal um, concrete steel buildings that we see nowadays. So for pro number two, I'll say the prices are lower with older buildings. Or if the building that you're looking at is fully renovated with high amenities, blah, 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 blah of course it's going to be more pricey. For an average older building, I would say it's a little bit more affordable from what I've seen on the market. So when people see something that's shiny and new, they'll pay top dollar for it. It is more expensive. Something I wanted to bring up that might apply to is if the company itself is a small real estate company versus a large real estate company that gobbles up a lot of properties. This is definitely not always the case, but for my even my current apartment, it is privately owned. Each year, the rent increase doesn't go up that much. Um, and I, it seems like it's not in that same competitive market that it would be if it's a bigger real estate company that doesn't really care about the tenants. They're just trying to make money. And usually the utilities are included in the rent itself. So especially like an apartment like this, uh, older buildings have radiators. So that's sometimes controlled by the building itself so you don't have to worry about heat just look out for that as well that could help lower your costs for pro number three the charm and the character that comes with older buildings are just unbeatable and really nice to have these kind of things include the crown molding and the woodwork that goes throughout the craftsmanship of these apartments. Even the hardwood floors that may or may not be in the apartment. Sometimes it's carpet, but... And even some apartments come with a fireplace. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's really pretty to look at or like to see the exposed brick walls is something that I think is a statement to Chicago apartments. But most importantly, it's like these apartments are unique. So even in the same building, you might 
might see many different layouts of a similar apartment. But there's a lot of character and charm that go throughout these apartments. So there's a lot of history that has gone into it. And for pro number four, I will say the common spaces, the courtyards, even the fire escapes or balconies that come along with these apartments are really nice because it is required for um, a two story flat or however, I think they only go up to about four floors in these older buildings, maybe five maybe five. They're required to have a fire escape on the backside or somewhere of the building. So there is two exit ways in these buildings, um, which usually results in you having a balcony or a little outdoor space, which is nice and refreshing to have. At least with these older buildings, you have a place to go to if you want some fresh air, open up a door um, and have an outdoor space. If your building does have a courtyard or backyard or a patio space, you can see your neighbors, you can grill, barbecue, you can interact with others. Um, my outdoor space has like a community garden where you can see people growing sunflowers and fruits. So those kind of things are nice to see and have, um, especially because nowadays there's such a lack of third spaces in society now that it's like, you don't really get to interact with other people um, that aren't your family, close friends or coworkers. So to have that kind of communal space is pretty refreshing. So now it's time for the cons. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so there's a lot of good things with the older buildings, but of course there are some weird things that you kind of got to adapt to. So let's, let's talk about it. For con number one, it's there's old building features, right? Your bathroom might not be the latest and greatest. Your appliances might be old, not stainless steel. You'll probably have those like really standard, boring, ugly, brown, orange, cabinets in your kitchen like it might not be the latest and greatest stuff the layout and the design of the apartment it might be quirky things might not really make sense there's some buildings that someone has renovated or tried to make into apartments and will like cut into weird spaces or put up walls that don't really make sense so the layout's all weird um things like that but again the prices will increase the nicer the apartment is. So uh, keep that in mind. If that's not on your high on your checklist, like it wasn't on mine, you'll be okay. <laughs> and you'll live with it because again, you can make the apartment unique with some peel and stick back backsplash or um, putting up a wallpaper or something to make it yours, you know? So there's ways to get around it. Along with these old building features, there's a lack of temperature control. So you might not have central air or control over the heat. You might have to get an AC in your window that you have to regulate. The windows themselves might be old and drafty. So in the summer, your air might go out the windows. In the winter, your heat might go out the windows. Keep that in mind. <laughs> if that's important to you, um, you're gonna have a tough time. <laughs> Keep that on your list if that's what you want. I make it work. In the summer, I don't have AC. I just open up all my windows and just let the breeze come in. Blast fans everywhere. And I and it's fine. I, I make it work. It's fine. Keep that high on your list and make sure you find a place that also accommodates temperature control. Not all these buildings on the lower end of the price range have laundry in unit. So you might have to go down to a dungy basement and do your laundry. Um, that's just kind of how it is. Uh, but at least you have laundry in your building instead of going to a laundromat. If you have the money you wanna pay that price range, there are apartments I'm pretty sure that have laundry in unit. Um, that's just another perk that you'd have to consider. For con number two, the building might have bad maintenance. Um, in my building, and in buildings that I've had previously, sometimes just things don't get done or like, there's just things that need to be fixed around the place. And I don't know if they just aren't hiring 
good management or there's just not a good repairman around, but sometimes a request will kind of go aloof. Like example, often in my building, the door handle will come off of the front door of the building. Like the doorknob will just fall off and I can't leave the apartment because I can't open the door. So there's like weird quirks like that. It's like, why don't you guys just fix the door? this old ass door like like just fix it let's get a new door handle please yeah there just seems to be a lack of upkeep sometimes like there's light bulbs in my house that just don't work i don't know why the guy he comes he knows that they're broken he just hasn't fixed them i guess i had a situation in my previous apartments why i moved where there was a hole underneath the sink and there was a rat that got into the apartment and it was running around it was a running around my apartment the cat the <laughs> Miss Susan, our cat that we have here, actually killed the rat for us, which was great. But I had to call up maintenance. They did come fix that hole and got that situation fixed. But you never know in these older apartments. There's some some things that just happen sometimes. For con number three, this one's a little weird and quirky, but if you believe in this, um, apartments might be haunted. Older buildings might be haunted. Y you you never know, okay? You never know. So when you walk in there and you sense that something's not right, feel an energy there that just radiates, just be cautious, sage the place. Um, bless it as you walk through it. In our apartment, I I sage the place. Me and my sister, we, we, have, we, we say our blessings in the place to make sure that we feel good in the space and we do but you never know with older buildings so keep that in mind you never know who lived in there previously after a hundred years there could be a lot that it has gone through and one important thing don't drink the water from the faucets please don't drink the water from the faucets i had to learn the hard way when I looked at my window and my building was drilling into a pipe in front of the building, I didn't know what they were doing, but later I found a note and just boxes in front of our front door saying, take one. So I'm like, what? I take one of the boxes, I look inside and there's a bunch of water filters. That was their way of telling us that our water was filled with lead because the old pipes and we should be using these water filters now. Okay, like, I would assume a lot of the buildings here in Chicago that are really old have terrible lead piping. And if you get a water filter or and test that water, um, just make sure that the levels aren't high in that water if you're gonna drink from the tap. If not, get a water filter, drink out of water bottles, get a water bottle, refill that. And you know, you know, just stay clean. Don't be drinking the water from the faucet. So that's the video on the pros and cons of living in an older style building. If this was helpful for you, go ahead and give a like down below. I appreciate it. If you have a pro or a con that I have missed out or just want to add to the commentary, go ahead and write it down below. I appreciate you all. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.